Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today we're going to talk about numbered and bulleted lists, how to accomplish it. There's a special function in your reporting function that lets you do it easily and swiftly. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at the data that we're going to use. I have a query already built. It's just a list of company name and the summation of their purchases. If we look under the hood at the query, we see that we're basically just showing the company name grouped. There were summing up the purchases for each company. And then we're just showing an order date between January 1 and January 31st. So only one month's worth of orders for whatever companies ordered during that time. The report that we're going to use then is a report that just puts it on the page. Haven't done anything more than put a report header and a page header and just listed the fields in the detail. So let's get started by opening up the actual Microsoft Access database. So we'll go ahead and put it in design view to start making those modifications. And the first thing we're going to do is to add a text box to the detail area here and delete the label for that text box. Then we'll move that text box over. Then we'll check and make sure that the text box has the same size font and bolding and so forth. Now in a report, there's a special property for a text box. We'll go over and we'll highlight the text box and then we'll go to the properties under the data tab. And under that data tab, there's an odd one called running sum. Now, what does that do? Well, it creates a running sum total of the records in the data table. So if I say overall, it will number in that unbound text box all of the records one at a time adding the next value to the record, kind of like a, an auto number in a query or an auto number in a table. The seeding number I want to give it is to start with one. So I'm going to say equals one in the control source here. And that's all it takes to create a numbered list. So let's take a look at it. And here we have a numbered list. Now, my boss, who wanted to have a list of clients that have bought from them based on their highest purchases on down, now has them by number. They can see when the, who the first one is, who the second one is, and so forth. Now, we're going to go ahead and modify this. And to put a bullet in there, we take and we're going to modify actually the control source. But to do that first, let's go to the character map. Okay, so the CHR number that we're going to use is is 0149 or just 149 and we can use the function chr string in an open parenthesis 149 to represent that dot as the bullet. I could also just copy it and put it in quotes and concatenate it to company name as well. I prefer to use the uh, chr string because then I can quickly change them out anytime I want to. So instead of company name there I'm going to throw in a small formula. Notice it says CHR149 and I'm going to use a special function called space that gives an exact number of spaces between the bullet and the characters. And when you have a not a monospaced font but a font that changes width on each of the characters, that space function allows you to have the exact amount of space that you want consistent throughout your report. So then I concatenate that with company name and I have the formula. Now, the nice thing about doing it in the control source is that it also adopts the same font and the same bolding and the same size as it would for the rest of the field. So that's already been set. So it's already there. Let's go take a look and see what it looks like now. And we'll put it in print preview mode this time. And there we have it, a full bulleted list. Well, I hope you've liked these last couple tips that I've given you. And if you have, hit that like button, get it out to more people, because this is a tip that, that frankly, until I researched it, I didn't know how to do. And I hope it benefits you. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and see us for even more videos to come. Thanks.